So you might be trying to figure out what the differences are between the Nintendo Switch Lite and the Nintendo Switch OLED. This is a comparison between the most expensive Nintendo Switch you could buy and the cheapest Nintendo Switch you could buy. And the thing I will definitely tell you is between both of these consoles, they're both very good. I love these consoles a lot. And getting either one of these is going to be very good. I will tell you, switching up to the Nintendo Switch OLED, if you have the money, even if you don't have the money, it's probably worth just saving a little bit extra and then and buying the Nintendo Switch OLED than getting the cheaper Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, if you know you're never going to dock up your console and you don't really care about the display of your Nintendo Switch, then maybe the Switch Lite is probably going to be good for you. But the way I kind of see it, the Nintendo Switch OLED can do every single thing the Nintendo Switch Lite can do except better. It's just the Nintendo Switch Lite cannot do everything the Nintendo Switch OLED can do. So that right there is one big thing to keep in mind. But if you do want to pick up your Nintendo Switches, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now the exterior is definitely one of the biggest differences here between both of these consoles. So on the front of the Nintendo Switch Lite, you're getting a good display. You know, it's a 5.5 inch LCD you know, display and it's a good size. You know, it looks fairly good. It gets, you know, it's a bright kind of panel, but it's really not that great of a display. And I'm going to be honest, this is probably one of the biggest downsides of this particular console. It's good if you're indoors, but if you're outside, if you're in a car with direct sunlight, it can be kind of tough to see that particular display because it just really, that's not what you know this display is going for. It's going for indoor mostly, I think. The Nintendo Switch OLED is a bigger console. It's a 7 inch OLED display, but it, that OLED panel is substantially better than the LCD panel that's inside of the Nintendo Switch Lite. This makes playing those games looks so much better. It makes performing those games and everything and just using the whole entire device perform and feel so much better than the Switch Lite. Every time I look at these two devices, it's insane the massive differences there are between them. And I'm gonna tell you, you're definitely getting a significantly better console that looks so much better on this Nintendo Switch Lite than on, this, on the Nintendo Switch OLED than on the Nintendo Switch Lite. So that right there is like another very big thing to keep in mind. On top of that, another big thing here is with the Joy-Cons. The big thing here is that with the Nintendo Switch Lite and the Switch OLED, these Joy-Cons were just prone to failing. You could run into so many issues within these particular Joy-Cons, which could be very, very annoying. Luckily for us with this particular device though, with the Switch OLED, you can send in those particular Joy-Cons for them to get fixed. And you can even re buy replacement ones if you really want to. Unfortunately, with the Nintendo Switch Lite, that's not really an option. You can't really just, you know, you can take apart your Switch Lite and try fixing it, but you're going to have to figure out how to do that. You know, you can't really just easily just go ahead and change things up like that, which again, can be kind of an annoying thing for some people out there. And personally for me, that right there is like another very, very big annoying thing I can just throw in there as well. So that's probably another advantage for the Nintendo Switch OLED when it kind of comes down to it as well. On top of that, another big thing is just with the you know portability aspect. The Switch Lite maybe wins in portability, but also with the Switch OLED, you can always go ahead and just, you know, take it around with you. You can always take the Joy-Cons apart and play multiplayer if you want to, but you can always still connect Joy-Cons to the Switch Lite as well if you really want to do that. The biggest difference though, there just seems to be bigger, bigger differences every time I talk about it. The biggest difference, as you could probably tell, is with the docking capability. Beyond the, just the display and the Joy-Cons, being able to go ahead and dock your Nintendo Switch to a different monitor or to a different display can completely change the way you look at your particular monitor and the, your Nintendo Switch. This is the difference between always playing it the same way rather than playing it into a different way docking it up to a monitor, which is amazing. And with the Nintendo Switch OLED, this is basically what's going on. You are basically given that capability on the Nintendo Switch OLED, which will basically, again, give us that type of capability of docking up our monitor. Now this in and of itself is such a crucial thing, something I love a lot about this particular device, and this in and of itself is going to be one of the biggest differences I would say, again going from the Switch Lite to the Switch OLED. Having that type of capability of just docking up your particular device is amazing, I love that so much, and I do think this again is probably the biggest difference or one of the biggest differences going from that particular device to the Switch Lite. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. And also with the Switch OLED, you do get that Ethernet port that you can dock up to as well, so you can always dock up your Switch Lite or Switch OLED to that Ethernet port and go from there as well. So beyond that though, there's a lot of overlap. You can obviously play the same exact games between both of these consoles. You have expandable storage. You have basically the same type of experience that you can get from both of these. It just so happens that you're getting a significantly better console 
in every single way than the Nintendo Switch Lite. And that's exactly what's going on here. So what I will tell you is, is that if you're in the market and if you're wanting a better Nintendo Switch, the Nintendo Switch OLED is by far, I would say, the better console in almost every single way. The OLED Switch is the one that I look at as probably being the significantly better one that I love a lot. I think with the Switch Lite, this is a very good console. You know, it's good. It means a lot to me. But definitely, I think the Nintendo Switch OLED is probably the one I'd recommend a vast majority of people to go ahead and buy. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.